Welcome to the initiative HP Online Teaching Assistant by HP Education. Today we will talk about Minecraft Education Edition. This will be the content of our session today. First of all, what is Minecraft? What are the uses and benefits of Minecraft in education? Then I'm going to teach you some of the special elements and blocks for education. I will also show some examples of Minecraft applied to education. And finally, we'll see a quick start guide in the tool. Let's get started. What is Minecraft? It is a Microsoft video game about building and breaking blocks where players have adventures. These are the three principles of the game. Create. Just as you can destroy blocks, you can also create a variety of things. This is the crafting table of Minecraft, one of the first things you should get when you start in the game to be able to create different kinds of items such as tools, weapons, and armors. Explore. When you start in a new world, you will have to explore it to be able to. Survive. In your own fantastic world, if you're in survival mode, you will have to worry about staying alive. That's to say, feeding yourself, getting experience, and raw material to build what you need, or even what you want. It all depends on your imagination. Now. What is Minecraft Education Edition? It is the educational version of the Minecraft video game. This tool allows for motivating students and inspiring meaningful learning through different game-based experiences, with which they can work on STEM skills, develop creativity, collaboration, problem-solving abilities, among others. In a nutshell, it can help educators in that arduous task of developing the famous 21st century skills, skills that are necessary for the working world. Remember that many jobs will disappear, and we must prepare our students for jobs that do not yet exist. And it is these skills that will allow them to adapt in a VUCA environment, namely, volatility, due to the speed of changes, uncertainty, because of the lack of predictability and the prospects of surprise, complex, because there is a lot of information and interconnected variables at stake, an ambiguity due to multiple interpretations. In addition, there is a lot of educational content to work with in the classroom, so even students can help in building lessons. This allows us to empower them with their learning process, moving from a teacher-centered learning model to a student-centered one, where they are the protagonists. In other words, teachers are no longer the source of knowledge, but guides and facilitators of knowledge. What we see here are the percentages at which they develop abilities with Minecraft Education Edition. At 97.7%, their problem-solving ability. At 95.5%, they would be developing their creativity. At 93.3%, their critical thinking. At 91.1%, their collaboration ability. At 88.8%, their decision-making ability. And at 86.6%, their communication. These are the education kits that are in the Minecraft Education Edition website. This is the link where you'll find lessons on these topics you see on screen. Language Arts, Science, History and Culture, Computer Science, Math, Art and Design. The invitation is to visit the link and check out the lessons. These are the uses of Minecraft in education. So we see that 33.3% use it for projects and special lessons. 22.4% use it to learn in virtual worlds two or three times per week in class. 15.5% use it to participate in Minecraft clubs or extracurricular groups. And 11.1% use it on their own to play and learn autonomously in their daily life. Here are the 10 benefits of using Minecraft Education Edition. 1. To develop problem-solving skills. Two. For motivation and fun that results in greater commitment on the part of the student and therefore reduces distraction, lack of understanding and content, which are negative factors in learning. 3. Cooperative learning, where many students prefer to work in groups and help each other to achieve their goals. 4. The development of creativity and imagination, both for the teachers when designing the lessons or creative projects, and for the students when showing academic creation in Minecraft. 5. The development of social skills. Since to overcome the challenges set by the teacher 
or work on a project with peers, the student will have to put his communication, negotiation, and even leadership skills into practice. For example, if the task is to build a house, they will have to define its style and design. 6. Spatial Perception By assessing how things are located in space and understanding their relationships in the environment. In addition, it allows us to think in two and three dimensions. 7. Computational Thinking More advanced levels require programming skills. Besides, it's a skill that focuses on the use of critical and logical thinking for problem solving in a systematic way not necessarily involving expert programming. 8. Mathematical competence. In the lessons, we can ask students to find the perimeter, the volume, a pattern, or to calculate the resources needed to build a certain tool, etc. 9. Research. Some tasks require students to independently search for certain information outside of Minecraft. 10. Resource management. Students must manage their inventory properly to survive. Now I'm going to show you some special elements in educational blocks. The educational version offers specific features designed for educational use. Customizable skins for education. Skins allow students to customize their avatars, increasing student engagement and allowing educators to more easily differentiate between students playing together. The Collaborative Environment in Multiplayer Mode Multiplayer worlds can only happen on the same server, all of the same domain of the Office 365 account, that is, everything after the at must be the same. This feature was designed to be developed in class, that means all users must be on the same network. However, it is now possible to connect from different networks, for example, from home, by making a change in network configuration. A teacher must be the host of the world. There may be up to 30 users in the same world, and the same version of Minecraft must be run for all users. This is the teacher's view. Who's the one to generate the code for the kids to join? They must go to Join World option and enter this code there. To see the join code, inside the world you must press the Escape key. Deny and Allow Blocks these blocks allow educators to establish editable or restricted areas within the world. That is, they allow or deny students the ability to build and focus learning in specific spaces. Border blocks. Border blocks help teachers define specific areas of the game where students will move and build. These blocks delimit. You cannot get out of the zone, nor destroy or jump over them. It also does not allow tunnels to be dug under them. NPC. Non-player characters. Non-player characters can be placed in the game to provide information to students, give instructions, and link to other resources. That is, they can interact with the visitors of your world, providing additional information, clues, etc. You can give it a name, include a dialogue, change the appearance, and even redirect it to a resource or URL from advanced options. This is the NPC icon that you should add to your inventory and then locate them. Chalkboards. Teachers can use whiteboards to communicate learning objectives or challenge students with problems they will have to resolve in the game or simply to give information. These are the three board sizes we have in the game. Camera, portfolio, book, and pen. The camera allows students to capture images and the portfolio is where they store images, including an option to add subtitles. With the use of the camera, portfolio, and pen, Students can document their work and share it in class. This feature can be used as an evaluation tool, then the images, or in PDF, can be exported. Classroom Mode Classroom Mode is an extension of Minecraft Education Edition that gives educators greater control over the world of Minecraft and the students that make it up. In this mode, you can access a variety of features specially designed to interact with students while hosting a multiplayer game by managing settings from a central user interface, server mode. Only the teacher needs to start the classroom mode in the game. Chemistry Pack Students can use the Chemistry Resource Pack to create new Minecraft items, like helium balloons and flares, view items in a complete periodic table, and build a custom chemistry lab. The elements of the Chemistry Package are Compound Creator 
Element Builder, Laboratory Table, Material Reducer, Code Builder. Allows you to use programming to interact with the Minecraft environment through our agent. Press the C key to activate. For example, you can program the agent to create a garden. Now let's look at some examples of Minecraft applied to education. In case of a history class, you can recreate a historical moment, including architectural pieces and characters from that era. And students can also contribute to the creation of those worlds or follow the route you've planned for them. In this case, include links in NPCs that lead to activities outside of Minecraft that allow them to have new instructions to continue their journey. In mathematics, you can ask your students to identify flat figures or build three-dimensional objects by identifying their area, perimeter, and others. In natural science, you can create a gamified world where the challenge is to fix machines to make them function in the world. For this, they must learn their characteristics. They then embark on a journey through the Museum of Simple and Complex Machines, where, in each room, they will learn something about each one. The student will always have to resolve some sort of challenge posed. Program. As I mentioned earlier, you can use the agent to build your garden, or you could program chickens to fall from the sky by activating it with a command. For literature classes, they can recreate a literary story in Minecraft to demonstrate an understanding of digital storytelling. And finally, let's do a review to this quick start guide in the Minecraft Education Edition. Before we start, what will we need to use this tool? First, connection on our PC. It can be via local network or Wi-Fi and an Office 365 license that includes the installable version of Minecraft Education Edition. Second, a keyboard to open the inventory within the game, scroll, and enter necessary commands. Third, a mouse to move, break, and place blocks. The first step in our guide is to verify that your account is eligible to use Minecraft Education Edition. If your institutional account has Microsoft A3 or A5 education licenses, you already have access to Minecraft Education Edition. If you are not sure, you can access the link that appears on the screen and enter your email to confirm whether or not your account is eligible. If you definitely don't have the tool, you can purchase licenses through an authorized Microsoft Education Partner. Once licenses are purchased, they must be assigned to the users within your organization. Download the app. By accessing the link on the screen, you can download Minecraft for Windows, Mac, or iPad. Follow the instructions on the page to make sure your device is compatible with Minecraft Education Edition. Take the basic course for Minecraft Education Edition. In this link you see on screen, you'll be able to take the free online course for educators in the Microsoft Education Center, or MEC, to learn the basics of the Minecraft Education Edition. You can also explore the free lessons and curricular activities on the web. Let's play! We open Minecraft once it's installed on the computer and log in with your student teacher account. Remember that, to start Minecraft, the username will be the same as when we log in to Office 365 with your organization's email together with the corresponding password. Without an educational account, you will not be able to log in to the Minecraft Education Edition. Thank you for watching this video offered by HP Online Teaching Assistant, an initiative of HP Education.